Oh, this was exactly what I was looking for. This is the perfect shape. I am going to turn this into a hanging lamp. We're going to start this project by grabbing some spray paint and I have this gold Rust-Oleum spray paint that I just love and we're going to spray paint the colander. Put it in a box so that it protects the areas around it and it makes it easier to spray it. And this dries really fast so then you can flip it over probably in like a couple minutes. Now we're going to take some twine and we are going to add these little bell trinkets to the bottom of our lamp. And just keep tying on all these little brass bells until you get them all the way around. They're actually not just, they don't make noise, these little bells. They're kind of more decorative. And just keep going around until you get to the other side. Now we're gonna attach a garland of wood beads around the top. And I strung these hexagon shaped wood beads with some knots in between and I used twine. And you can do whatever you want. You can add some round beads or use a hexagon shape like I did. But measure across the top and then you're going to hot glue the twine together and it totally holds together. Now we're going to grab some rope and we're going to tie that to the top. And then we're gonna pull about a couple inches past the knot and grab some twine and then wrap that around a bunch of times and then knot it a couple times. And that will hold it together so it's secure when we go to hang it. And I got this twine and the rope both from the Dollar Tree also. Now we're going to add a light to the center and we're going to use this really cool battery operated actually remote control light bulb that I love. I've used it in other projects and we're going to attach that to the inside of the lamp. Take some of the hot glue which is the Gorilla Glue that I love and then we're going to add that into the center and that little piece at the bottom right there actually has a magnet inside. So that is how you put the light bulb in. You could take the light bulb out at any time if you need to change the battery. But what I decided was I don't like the white showing through, so I'm gonna cover it up with some tape, and this is some tape, or some frog tape, and then we're gonna spray paint it the same gold that we spray painted the fixture for the lampshade. After you take all the tape out, you're ready to put it in that little magnetic holster that's on the inside of your lamp. And I put some paper in there, some paper towel, just to protect it when I was spray painting it so that it didn't mess up the magnet. And then you put it in and you have a lamp. And this lamp is super light, so you just need a hook to put into the ceiling. And I wrapped twine around the hook so it made it look even nicer.
hope you guys loved today's DIY. I think it turned out so cute. It turned out even better than I thought it would turn out. And as always, happy DIYing. Until next time, bye.